Welcome to Quilting Window. I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts and I'm looking forward today to do a sew to star with you. This is a fun block. You can use it in many ways. You can use it as a quilt if you make a lot of them. You can use it in a border. I enjoy it as a cornerstone sashing and many times uh, as an accent to many of my quilts. I can't wait to show you how I do it. In our quilting basket today, you're going to find a pattern. This pattern calls Aurora and in it you will find all the measurements for cutting this small block. This block is 4 inches finish. It's a really cute size. I also have some Aurofil threads that go with the blue and white fabrics that I'm going to be using today. Then I have my Macrotex needles that are great for small piecing and I brought something different in the quilting basket today. It's a little tool from uh, Block Lock for flying geeses. I can't wait to show you what I do with it. I love this little tool. You can visit our website and get those on it and it is wonderful for any flying geeses, any points and stars. And this size is perfect. Okay, so now let's make our block. The blocks that we're gonna make can be easily made from layer cakes. You get three blocks out of one 10 inch square. So out of one 10 inch squares, we can cut three stars. Let me show you how I cut it. I cut my center squares. So that part is right here. This is gonna be a little leftover. Then I cut squares and I need four of them for one block and I cut them to half square triangles, just like this, notice it. So they're cut right here. So I repeat it two more times, so I have enough for three blocks. All of the pieces right here and the strip right here would be your little leftover for maybe a little mini that you want to do it. We're also gonna need a background fabric. And from the background, I'm gonna cut squares for corners, and then I'm gonna cut one square twice diagonally for a quarter square triangles, and those are gonna be our low flying geeses for the sides of our Soto star. Okay, our fabrics are cut. I'm gonna select my fabrics for one block. I always love to lay my fabrics front of me when I'm uh, making a block, because that way I can see how things are lining up, if there is a direction to the fabric. So the square will go in the center right here. Then I have my flying geeses. I'm going to get my glasses to always help to see things better. Uh -huh. Don't you agree, guys? Now, those little triangles. And just to go back one moment with you, when I'm cutting those triangles right here, they're cut from a square. So if my square, the direction in the pattern says cut square, for example, one and seven eighths, I cut them at two inches. I give myself one eighth extra because I love to trim my blocks and make them perfect. So look at this. Oh, it looks wonderful. There is no direction to this fabric. A slight, slight on those low lines, but nothing to worry about it. The block is looking great. I have all my pieces. I think I'm ready for piecing. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is sew this part of my block right here, this unit, this call a flying geese. Flying geese. Okay, I have one ready set go to go with you over how I do it. So I take my flying geese just like this and the first thing that I do is I grab the light, put it in my hand and I take my dark and put it right over just like this. I always match this point right here. It's very important that you do it because there will be little extra right here, bunny ears, remember? I cut it a little bit bigger to have room to trim it and depends on your quarter inch seam allowance, um, you would have less or more to trim. You're gonna start sewing from the top straight down, zoom, zoom, zoom. As soon as you finish, you're gonna open it up, Push the seam allowance towards dark, just like the direction calls it. Then you're gonna grab the next one, place it on the other side. Let me show you right here. So the first one I sewed it, push the seam allowance towards the dark. Then I'm gonna grab my second one, place it right over and start sewing from here straight out to the point, making sure that everything is laying in the right position. If you want it, you can also turn this over and sew from this end and come out here. 
in this case i'm starting here because i know that i can control this folded seam my teeth on my sewing machine is going to grab it really nice finish sewing as soon as i'm done look at this flying geese and i push all my seam allowances to the back now the fun part begins this flying geese is beautiful but the size is not exactly what i want it so when i grab my little tool i can place it right over and look at this i lock in the seams it beautifully locks in i grab my rotary and i start trimming to the perfect size make sure look at this guys make sure that right here you're not cutting off any of the point that those dotted lines are matching so that's what you need to do i don't like to cut and cross my hands so i turn everything around towards me now this time pull it gently towards me lock it in the seams and trim it again when you have those spinning tables for cutting those are going to be great for the trimming part I'm going to repeat this four times because I need four of those for one block. Once our flying geese are done, it's time to make our block. I lay my block out and I'm going to sew two squares to each side of flying geese. That's the row number one. Then I'm going to say, sew two flying geese to the center square. And then I go again and sew two squares to each side of a flying geese. Now, seam allowances needs to be pushed towards the corners, uh, squares on a first and a third row, and through the center, it has to be pushed towards the center. So look at the seam allowances are pushed in the opposite direction. And as I'm sewing, I'm paying attention, then look at it, I'm crossing right there, so I did not clip any of my tips of my flying geese. So when you sewing it, pay attention to that. Now the seams are pushing opposite direction. I can take row one, match it up, take some time, and notice how the seam allowances are going in the opposite direction. So that way the lock right here, let's take this one, locks right here. Look at how wonderful. I'm gonna sew, zoom, 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 open it up, then do the same thing on this side and time to push the seam allowances towards the center clip any bunny ears that you have you should not have any left if you have used that cute little flying geese tool everything should be trimmed and ready set go for you as soon as you finish your block you can press it and if you can make a one you can make a dozen you can use those wonderful blocks in a border in a quilt like this uh, called shining star or maybe you just want to make a little table runner with them and I so much enjoy making this wonderful quilt called Aurora now notice how much fun this is well thank you for joining me today and enjoying a little bit of flying geeses and so to star make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel visit us on Instagram Facebook and our website at www.laundrybasketquilts.com. I can't wait to see you again. Happy quilting!